Hi guys, welcome to Majestic Notion. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Cleansing my space real quick, so, cause we're about to talk about it today. Mhm. Mm and I need some cleansing up in here. Okay. So let me put this up real quick. And I'll talk to you guys about it. Um, there's a reason why I do certain videos. It's because I'm drawn to do them, okay, by spirit. And if they stem from um, a certain event during the day, a certain revelation, they stem from dreams okay and this one that we're about to get into okay it was uh, definitely of a dream so give me one second while I put this away and close the window because there's a lot of noise outside okay so my last video that I made was about the karmic um, you know being a little possessive and controlling and not wanting to let the divine masculine go now I normally don't do those types of readings but like I always say I'm open to any reading spirit brings to me okay sometimes it's about union I don't choose the cards spirit does as you can see I shuffle the cards cards come out and I interpret what is being presented in front of me okay I have no choice in that matter as I am open to receiving any type of reading now this particular reading is pretty much on the same topic as the last one I just did about the karmic situationship um, with the divine masculine now this stemmed from a dream that I had okay I I just couldn't believe how psychotic this person got <laughs> literally jumped on me with a knife to stab me to, she didn't get to stab me in the dream but I was trying my hardest to keep her hand from stabbing me repeatedly she had this psychotic look on her face and um, there was another person it was a woman another girl that was watching this and finally was able to between her and I we were able to get her off of me this was a dream okay we were able to get her off of me and she ran and was crying hysterically okay when I have dreams like that I have a lot of prophetic dreams I have a lot of dream revelations from spirit and when I have these types of dreams it really leads me to have these types of readings so I do them for a reason now remember general readings are not for everybody okay you may or may not resonate with these types of readings okay if you do not don't take it personal because it just means it's not for you okay if you you're like nah I'm not dealing with this person or nah he's not in my life that just means this is not your reading this is specifically for someone who is or multiple people who are dealing with a divine masculine in a karmic situation and that specific karmic karmic happens to be a little over possessive a little psycho cuz trust me from that dream that I had this it, it's funny in the way it came to me she came to me as a child okay wanting to stab me and the person that came, was in the dream that was as her father it, it, it's funny how, how spirit works in the dream world because that person represented someone that was very self-centered uh, and didn't pay too much attention to their children and that tells me right there and then obviously that she has some deep-rooted uh, father issues that's what I got from the dream interpretation um, but wow I don't think I ever had anybody come at me in a dream quite like that but she ran hysterically and I was just like dumbfounded I was like wow now she's probably gonna tell her father that I'm the one that tried to kill her or something it was just crazy <laughs> so I'm gonna do this reading today um, hopefully spirit um, you know because I feel like that's a collective message for whoever's dealing is in this type of situation 
um, and I'm going to see if spirit uh, reveals a little bit more and goes into detail with that okay so let's begin and let's find out and you know what the fun the, the song that I was getting for this person is <laughs> I'm at the point of no return I'm at the point of no return I don't know if you guys remember that song that's old school <laughs> But she's definitely at the point of no return for those who are in this situation, okay? <laughs> and I'm sorry, if you're the karmic watching, you know, it is what it is, okay? Um, I send you lots of healing. And remember that, you know, you too can have your divine counterpart if you heal and work on yourself, okay? Um... So let's get into it. I'm going to start with the Kipper deck. Okay, it's a fortune telling deck. And we're going to get into this energy, if spirit allows. So let's see. They surround me at this time. They've been called in. And let's see what's going on for the collective that are dealing with a divine masculine in a karmic situation. My guides. Let's see. And there's like a little tiny bug. <laughs> flying around my face what the hell okay so let's get into this energy and see what the hell is going on I'm going to put down some cards and then I'll get into it okay alright spirit what's going on with the karmic and the divine masculine at this time whoa it like jumped twice okay so we have pathway with a lot of butterflies there so I feel like someone's on a journey here of moving forward. I feel there is transformation going on. But if you see these two trees here and the sun, it looks like the Golden Gates, right? Number 11. That's what that looks like to me right there. Okay. So, and you have all these butterflies. So somebody definitely is in that transformation mode. They see the goal. They see the end result they see the light at the end of the tunnel okay this is number eight obviously number 35 5 plus 3 is 8 um, so that's an infinity symbol as well okay so let's see what else we got let's see what else we have for the karmic situation ship and the divine masculine. Okay. We have judication. Okay. I see a male and a female. Doesn't have to be male, male. I mean male, female. It could be male, male or female, female. But I do see two people here with adjudication here it's like a judgment is being made on this connection is what I'm feeling here okay final order so to speak somewhere along this pathway okay let's see what's going on it's like this judge is like have you really learned your lesson though okay are you ready to split and move forward plead your case hmm let's see what else we got going on here my guy okay we have toil and labor to me in this situation it's like the ten of wands that heavy burden okay overworked all right this is uh, number 38 which is adds up to 11 okay so definitely there's a burden that needs to be dropped here and you know I feel like because there's 10 and then 11 is that new start somewhere along this path but someone has yet to get here okay but let's see what else is going on here. there's the main female and I always look at this card definitely reminds me of the karmic because of that look on her face. She's I got that psycho look on her face to me. Like, bitch, you better not. 
All right, so let's start with that and see what's going on. Yeah, bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. Child. I, I, for me, this is somebody that has childhood issues. Okay. That's what I see here. Especially with that card. But things will come to light just before your eyes. You will see how spirit works. Um, let's get into we're gonna use the the Lima tarot for this one okay and see what's going on here four shuffles my guides for this deck let's see what's going on two three and a split and let's just see how spirit works here today okay I'm confused my guys okay that's where they want it all right so let's get into this energy pathway knight of wands so someone's definitely determined to go on this pathway okay they're coming in hot with passion and determination all right so I feel like they're they want to be on their way let's talk about adjudication yeah third party three of cups now third party doesn't mean that you know the divine masculine is messing with the divine feminine and the karmic okay this could be someone you haven't even met but if it's somebody that you're separated from it just means you know they're dealing with someone and before this union could happen um, a judgment call has to be made that's why I said did you learn your lesson are you ready for union um, that's what this person is currently going through okay um, toil and labor ten of Pentacles okay because I see this as the ten of wands it was a heavy burden okay a heavy cycle but guess what's coming now abundance lineage a relationship that it has a mutual abundant um, energy to it okay this is the happy wife happy family okay this is like the ten of cups but it's it's financial abundance attached to it as well where your kids are also going to benefit from your hard work and your all the hard lessons that you've endured in your life okay you will be blessed okay once you are determined to go through these doors the divine masculine or divine feminine take it how it resonates okay you will be blessed but first you must you must go through that judgment are you ready okay let's talk about this female yeah okay we have the Queen of Wands and I'll be honest I feel like this person is looking at you that's what I'm getting because we have main female meaning this is the karmic and she's looking at you Queen of Wands could sometimes be seen as a homewrecker but that doesn't mean that you're a homewrecker it just means that this low vibration looks at you like a homewrecker the karmic that don't mean you're a home wrecker just because you're attractive, passionate, sexy, and alluring. Okay, you're the divine feminine, and you're confident. You're waiting for your ships to come in, regardless of this person. But I just feel like she got that hater face. Okay, we'll get into this energy. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the Knight of Wands. Yeah, there is fear and he also feels trapped okay so there's determination and transformation along this path but there's also fear okay and I also see the eight of swords as the cocoon state okay we have butterflies we have the eight of swords It's where you overthink everything because you're learning lessons okay you kinda have to overthink it uh, sometimes 
you just don't want to get obsessed with it. Eight of Swords is a little obsessive of the overthinking. But with the Butterflies and the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, meaning this person does want out. I, this is freedom. Wanting freedom from mental cage. Wanting freedom from feeling controlled and possessed. Okay, this is a free spirit here. They're tired of this energy. It's not like they like sitting in this energy. Okay, but I definitely feel that they had to be in this energy in order to learn these lessons. Okay, so let's talk about the Three of Cups. Exactly. What I say, in order to have this union with the Divine Feminine, the Empress, did you really learn though, Divine Masculine? Okay. I'm telling you. But final judgment is there will be union. Okay, this could be the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Be like, okay, you guys learned. Okay, what did you learn here? Mm-hmm. All right, well, three of cups. I think that he's saying, I think you deserve union whenever that is, okay? Because at some point, there will be union. No. <laughs> At some point, doesn't mean it's tomorrow, but that's the goal, right? All right, let's talk about the Ten of Pentacles. High Priestess, okay? This is what's been hidden, is this Ten of Pentacles. Because you had to learn all of these lessons. What's good here is that you're already past the Ten. This is Eleven, okay? This is the whole new cycle that is coming. So you're already, if this is um, both of you, I feel you're already in that energy, okay, of uh, moving past these lessons. I feel the Divine Feminine definitely is already happy and is already there. She's been, you know, the Divine has watched her. She's learned her lesson. She's doing good. But the one that's a little bit behind definitely is the Divine Masculine here. Whether you're male or female, this is energy, okay? The masculine energy. All right, let's talk about this queen of wands here. Yeah, five of wands is the competition. Mm-hmm. And she's upset that there is competition. And like I said, she looks at you like the homewrecker. But you're not the homewrecker. You are the prize, the Divine Feminine. I cannot make this up. Not only is a... Look at this. Your 3D and 5D. The High Priestess. The Empress. You embody all queens, honey. So you're the Queen of Wands as well. Okay. But the main female that is upset and keeps giving this Divine Masculine a hard time is... The karmic. I'm telling you. It's crazy. Alright, so let's keep it moving. I'm telling you, the cards tell the story. Yep. Guess who's ready to invest big time? Once he escapes this... This karmic is the Divine Masculine. He knows... He's going towards the prize. And it might be a little bit scary. But he knows where the prize is. Okay, you see the golden gates, golden coin, the ace of pentacles, the pathway, the golden gates with the two trees here. There are no mistakes. Okay, there's a lot of transformation going on here. Um, and you know a whole new cycle very abundant cycle okay this is a relationship a marriage this is your future wife your future husband okay but this person is whew, she cray there it is Look who's jealous of this union. They don't want you to have this union. They see you as someone that is very happy. 
Okay, content. Beautiful. I mean, you're, you're just sitting pretty, okay? The Empress doesn't have to chase. The Divine Masculine comes to the Empress, okay? People are going to be jealous of this connection. But this Karmic, okay, it's a sad, dark world where she's at with this Five of Swords. She's pissed, okay? She's pissed here. She's pissed over here. She's giving you the evil eye, okay? And... You could look at those swords as knives. She'd like to stab you in the back, that's for sure. That dream was no joke, man. I was like, what the hell? Okay, High Priestess Energy. Nine of Swords. You know, to me, because we have the heavy burden there, this is the Divine Masculine. He cannot sleep. He cannot, you know, he has anxiety. He doesn't know what to do here. But he intuitively knows that he wants this with you. Okay, this is what he's hiding. Okay, he, he also knows that this relationship that he's in is a heavy burden. Okay, this weighs heavy on this person. Okay, let's talk about the five of wands. The wheel of fortune. Mm -hmm. Change, okay, a new cycle. Change is inevitable. It's destined to be. Oh, Jupiter energy. Okay. You can't change destiny. Especially when it's a divine spiritual connection. Meant to be. Meant to happen. Okay. The wheel will be turning. And this option will be a thing of the past. Which is the karmic. Okay. And somebody's jealous. Somebody knows. This karmic most definitely knows about the Divine Feminine. Okay. Um, let, let's end it there with these cards. And let's go real quick into my cards. Oh, pff, I can't make this up. The world. Endings and new beginnings. The world with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. <laughs> the karmic doesn't stand a chance. There's nothing she could do. She doesn't have the power to move the world card and the wheel of fortune with behind it. Look at that. Seven of Pentacles. Something that took a, lot, a long time. But you're about to go into a major new cycle. Okay. You've learned lessons with the world here. Those are major, major, major lessons. You and the Divine Masculine are both learning that. The star. Okay. The star with the world and the wheel of fortune. This is faith. Destiny. Okay, look what's behind this. <laughs> soulmate. This is wishing for a soulmate. Granted by Saturn and Jupiter. The wheel of fortune in the world. This is a new chapter with your soulmate. See how I don't pick the cards? The divine does. Spirit does. Okay. To deliver these messages to you. It, it's it, it's crazy okay now let's get into my deck here and remember I'm not I, I'm not gonna show too much of this oh what did I do took away the wheel of fortune there um, I'm still waiting on my new and improved deck because I had to change a few images um, that should be coming in the next two or three days actually so I will uh, make a separate video on my deck and I will give you the link to purchase it if you guys are interested. So some of the images are not going to be the ones that you're going to see in the um, in the video. That's why I'm not using it too much. Okay, so don't fall in love just yet. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Ace of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and Pathway. Okay, so for those who are, you know, like to know what signs are here, we have Taurus energy, we have fire energy, and we have air energy, okay? Um, and we have water energy with the Three of Cups. So obviously Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, I mean everybody's here. Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, we do have fixed signs here, which are, especially with the world as well, 
Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus. All right. Now, let's see what's going on here with this first row and this Divine Masculine. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep. The karmic has looked at your social media page. Spying, jealous, hating, tarot readings. I can't make this shit up. That's why she's holding on. She wants to control this person. But this person is fixated on this pathway. He's like, nope. I know where I'm going. He has his UPS set. I mean UPS. GPS set already. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about this uh, karmic here. Or this throw here. With the five of swords. Oh lord. Yeah, tantric love, take me into ecstasy, kundalini rising, mind-blowing sex. And that's exactly what you're going to have when you come into this union, okay? And she's going to be jealous. She's going to be thinking about this too. Because I have a feeling, obviously, she's done readings. She knows about the twin flame um, connection. And she knows that this is going to be mind-blowing, okay? And she hella jelly about that. I mean, I'm not even kidding. Jesus. Let's talk about this hidden Ten of Pentacles, this row here. Ooh, that popped out. Yep, told you. I'm in my cocoon. So he's going to through that pressure. You know the pressure when, when the pearl finally is um, in its final stages, to, you know, to become that shiny pearl? That's that's what he's under and you know what song I'm getting under pressure dun, 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 dun 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 under pressure definitely feeling that pressure definitely in his cocoon transformation metamorphosis entering new phase okay let's talk about this karmic here <laughs> is she mad she's mad there's competition she sees you as a home record but we already know. We ain't no homewrecker. There you go. <laughs> Guess what Jupiter says. The Wheel of Fortune says you are magical. Which is the Divine Masculine. By the way, Jupiter is husband energy. If you follow, you know, like your chart and stuff like that. Is husband energy. Okay. So, I would, I would advise you look at your chart and see what's in your Jupiter. Okay. Because that could be the sign of your husband okay that you know you have to do a little more research on that I'm not gonna get in too heavy into that one but look at this you're magical I've never met anyone like you magical sorceress healer manifesting your dreams that's the divine masculine looking at you like that and obviously she sees your magic not that you're doing magic but she sees that you're magical because you're the divine feminine you are working on healing you're working on yourself i mean look at this it, you have learned the art of who the divine feminine should be and is this is self-love loving yourself this is having higher knowledge this is um magnetically calling in your divine masculine because you have this magnetic pull the pomegranate represents passion and ambition okay so definitely she i mean she can't deny she could be mad all she wants but she can't deny that it is what it is and you're going to manifest this divine masculine whether she likes it or not I mean that's that's why we do all this healing it's not like it's easy okay we went through this pressure already all right we're the pearl we're this free butterfly we're flying around here waiting for the other butterfly but without attachments 
but you don't see butterflies attached to any other butterfly they're always smelling the roses all by themselves but they'll flock together birds of a feather <laughs> let's look at the bottom of the deck here yeah can't make this up I'm secretly planning to come see you closing out cycles get away just the two of us a break from the world can't make it up let's do one more row here okay um, the karmic has looked at your social media page let's see what that's about here for this whole row okay <laughs> so this is a divine masculine I've pleasured myself in your honor okay fantasizing lust for sure many times I'm sure many times so while she's looking at your social media he's off somewhere doing his thing <laughs> I guess <laughs> let's look at this um, second one with the Empress yeah you light up a room when you walk in your presence demands attention you are simply alluring um, of course they're jealous and if you belly dance oh Lord that's that inner goddess coming out I mean good Lord no wonder there's people that are jelly you have you probably have some haters okay just saying and if you have haters it's because you're doing something right okay you must be doing it right don't let the haters stop you at the end of the day it's like they're your cheerleaders at the end of the day whether they know it or not whether they like it or not let's talk about this I'm in my cocoon my masculine oh my god I can't make this up let me uh, clear this um, I have like a you know things that pop up on my computer okay I can't make this up divine masculine I want to marry you my heart and soul screams you are the one it's been on my mind he's in his cocoon and this is what he's been thinking about I cannot make this up Wow with ten of Pentacles what did I say that is commitment that's what I've been on his mind but he's so torn because he knows this he's hiding this he knows it intuitively my heart and soul screams you are the one it's been on my mind <laughs> but he has to let go of psycho here okay but he's planning on it but he's still going through that transformational phase that metamorphosis stage let's talk about your magic this oh, hold on, I wasn't ready for that oh my god I can't make this up it was meant to happen karmic karmic situationship um, insecurities jealousy manipulative doesn't want to let go and cock block I can't make it up Wow <laughs> all right bottom of the deck lust this person is a snake Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. Let's um Let's do some love oracles and see what else we got here. Let's get three cards. Three cards for this situation, my guys. Three cards. I can't wait to do this um video for these cards you know I did all of these images and editing um, but you know the new the new deck that I had to kind of alter a little bit is gonna be um, a little bit different but some of the images will remain 
Um, let's see here. Let's do four shuffles, my guys. One. So I'm excited for that. Two. It took a long time. It, w it was actually <laughs> not easy. When you when you get down to the editing part, oh good. And you know, very channel deck too. Also channel uh, messages and images. All right, let's see here. So let's get three cards. We have that one. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow allow nature to take its course. Okay, and I feel like that's the divine masculine, because he's just ready to come out of this. Okay, is what I'm feeling, and he knows he needs to, you know. Don't get ahead of yourself. There's a lot of anxiety going on with him right now. He feels like, you know, he doesn't want to miss this chance with you, Divine Mas uh, Feminine. And, you know, it, it's like he's ready. He wants to go. He wants to be free. You know. Let's see here. What else we got? Give thanks to the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Absolutely Divine Feminine. I mean, you've obviously done the work here. You've healed, you're happy, you're content all by yourself. And the Divine's about to bless you. You had the world, the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Star with the Six of Cups. That's past life energy, soulmate energy. This is a Twin Flame connection that I'm talking about here. Because I'm talking about the Karmic Situationship with the Divine Masculine. And the third one, Time. You're trying too hard, give it time. So definitely this divine masculine needs to kind of just breathe. <laughs> okay? He definitely needs to breathe a little bit. Okay. But it's because this karmic knows what's up. I'm telling you, she knows. Yeah. The bottom of the deck. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. They can also distort your perception and cloud your vision okay in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment Ooh. so this could be for both of them they could be doing a lot of arguing over you divine feminine and there's a lot of resentment going on between them you know bad blood is what I'm what I just heard um, and they need to get to a space where they can kind of heal the situation uh, between him and the karmic and kind of move forward um, but you know sometimes it's very hard to heal a situation with someone that is in this combative jealous hater envious energy you know how do you deal with that so of course we're going to feel impatient and a lot of anxiety because this person could be verbally abusive as well telling him everything under the sun that he will never become or never be or or that he's less than or you know because this person seems very bitter to me okay this karmic and with that dream I had oh my goodness I just had it was like spirits like come on we gotta talk about it we gotta talk about it so there it is alright guys this is a long video it's 38 minutes um, I hope somebody resonated with that because um, I mean it looks good in the end but there's a metamorphosis stage happening the Divine Masculine does want to free himself, but this karmic is going psycho. I can tell you that. And the cards speak for themselves. Okay? Spirit has spoken. There it is. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think and what you're going through. If you don't resonate, don't bother commenting. It just means it's not for you. It means it was a message for someone else. So don't worry about it. Just hit next and find another reader or another video to watch okay as I make many um, between um, the uh, zodiac signs also the zodiac sign readings are not for everybody so they're general not personal readings so please don't take those personally if it's not your situation uh, you know your your comments really go on deaf ears because it just it, the reading wasn't speaking to you it just means it wasn't for you okay but it does resonate with someone else. If you look in the comments, you will notice that. Okay? Um, so that's all I'll say about that. I hope you guys liked it.
enjoy many blessings divine feminine um it's looking good no matter if you have haters that means that just means you're healing you're doing the right thing and you're moving forward in your life and the divine masculine sees that he's getting very impatient running out of patience here with this karmic as well um he's feeling the pressure for sure on both ends uh, not from you but you know the fact that he knows where he's going and wants to go but also feeling the pressure of being with this karmic and the lessons he's learning not easy all right um love you guys and i will see you guys again hopefully i get my new deck in a few days and i'll be doing that reading that video with a small reading so look out for that as well okay and i will release the name of my deck and speak all about it okay love you guys bye bye